This is unprecedented territory for the sports world. As you guys know, the NBA suspended the rest of their season indefinitely due to the coronavirus, this pandemic that is going around the world. Other leagues have followed suit. La Liga in Europe is suspending their play. The MLS, the NCAA, all five Power Five conferences are canceling their conference tournaments. Still waiting to hear word about the NHL, which has told teams not to practice for the time being and waiting on the fortune of March Madness and MLB baseball. Most likely, everything's going to be suspended. Everything's going to be delayed at the very least. This video is going to be a quick one just to say shout out to the NBA for taking a stand and shout out to the rest of the leagues for following suit. Adam Silver saw that there was a problem. He recognized that a player had the coronavirus in Rudy Gobert and he said, forget the profits, the safety of the players, the fans, the coaches, the personnel, and everybody else involved is more important than playing these basketball games. Sports are a livelihood for a lot of people, myself included. All of my jobs are based around the sports world, but it also is not one of the most important things in the world when we start boiling things down. The fact that people are taking a stand and sacrificing short-term losses for long-term gain among the population and among people in general and the health of people is something that I really like to see. You see it a lot in politics how people won't like these policies that presidents or senators implement because it results in short-term losses and they're not thinking about the long-term gain and that's what this is all about with all these suspensions and cancellations of sporting events. I'm not a doctor so I'm not going to act like I am and not going to act like I know everything about the coronavirus but something I do know is that this virus is better off having a longer lifespan but happening very slowly across that time rather than hitting everybody at once and then disappearing rather quickly because if it's a few people who have it over a long period of time every one of those people will be able to get treated and get treated and get help as opposed to if it's everybody has it all at once there's just not enough resources not enough medical staff not enough anything in order to treat everybody all at once so that is the process of this. We limit how quickly it spreads. That means the people who do catch it can then be treated faster. And then overall, we will be able to win this disease, have fewer deaths, fewer fatalities. And that's really the end game of all of this. Let's try to keep people alive. That's what makes this beyond sports. It's not just about the money, the players, the championships, the teams, all that fun stuff. It's about keeping people safe, keeping people alive. With that being said, of course, the coronavirus is serious. It has shown to be fatal for a lot of people, but also make sure you do your research. I'm sure most of you know it is worse in elderly folk and people who have chronic heart diseases or heart conditions or weakened immune systems. People my age, most of us are susceptible, yes, to contracting the disease and then of course spreading it to other people, but as far as it being fatal to somebody my age, stats show that it's not going to be fatal for people of my age and the younger folk. It is the older folk that we need to worry about and since it can be spread to anybody and then given away to anybody, that's really the worry. So overall, I applaud that the sports leagues are doing this because it's going to help people overall and try to limit this disease, gives people more time if less people are contracting the disease, gives doctors more times to try to come up with a vaccine and a better way of treating everybody. My message for everybody, I have taken this seriously enough, but I'm also not living in fear and that's the main thing. Yes, take precautions, wash your hands more, drink your orange juice, take your vitamins, make sure you're getting plenty of good foods in you so that you can stay healthy and keep a strong immune system. But also don't worry, be sure to wipe down at the gym, wipe down all the stuff that you use. If you're at your office, you know, take a couple extra Lysol wipes, all that stuff is very smart. It's good to do in general, but especially in this time with a disease that's spreading the way that it is. Take necessary precautions, I agree with that. Maybe take a couple steps back. We all need to take a couple steps back and maybe cancel some plans or maybe not do as many things as we would like to do, stay inside for a couple extra days, whatever. These are all good precautions and I agree with them. Just don't live in complete fear. You don't have to cancel your whole life. Living in fear means you're going to be stressed and if you're stressed, you're going to weaken your immune system. If you weaken your immune system, you're more susceptible to the thing that you are afraid of. Don't be afraid, do the things that are going to be necessary, and then at the end of the day, live, breathe, enjoy your life, okay? That's the main message of this. I applaud all the sports teams, I applaud all the leagues for doing what we can, I applaud all of those who are washing their hands more and bringing Lysol around to their offices and all that type of stuff. 
take the preventative measures, but then if you've done all you can, then that's going to be it. So good luck to everybody. I hope everybody is safe. I'm not taking it lightly. I don't want that to be the message that I'm trying to send. I just want everybody to know that we're going to be okay. We have doctors on this 24 seven, figuring out a way to overcome this disease. We have the history on our side of diseases that come in. We find a way to combat it and get back to the life that we all know and love. So have faith in humanity, have faith in each other. Be smart about this. Sorry if there's no sports for a while. I'm going to keep posting these videos. We have some MLB previews to come, even though the MLB season is looking like it's going to be delayed. That just means that I'll have some more time to edit some of these videos. But uh, for now, good luck. Stay healthy. All the best of luck to all of you. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you for a more fun video next time.